بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Why do such catastrophes such as the current crisis that we are living through COVID-19, this pandemic, why do these catastrophes and these calamities occur in the first place? What causes the spread of disease and pandemics? On the one hand, we have what modern science and what you know uh, medicine it tells us concerning the transfer of diseases but on the other hand we have a divine explanation and so looking at the texts of the quran and the sunnah we find that the real reason for the spread of such diseases on such a large scale as we're seeing today is the uncensored spread of sins and immorality and indecency such as zina women coming out exposing their beauty nudity and also homosexuality and so this is the real reason for why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afflicts us with such epidemics and such pandemics. The evidence for this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, immorality, indecency, never appears among a people to such an extent that they commit it openly, uncensored, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends plagues and diseases among them that were never known to them ever before. And so, an example of this, it is mentioned in the books of Tafsir, that when prostitutes mingled in the camp of Musa alayhi salam, and immorality spread and zina spread among them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a plague upon them. And so in one day, 70,000 people had died from that plague. And so we have to understand, we have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not punish a society due to sins. Because we human beings, we sin. And that is our nature. But as long as we confess to, to those sins, as long as we acknowledge them, and we have remorse, and we regret, and we ask Allah for forgiveness, then we're fine. But when sins become legalized, and there's no one to speak out against them, and those who do speak out, they're silenced. Then what happens is that there is no more forgiveness. There is no more seeking forgiveness. There is no more turning to Allah in repentance. And as such, this is when the punishment of Allah arrives. As Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ And Allah would not punish them as long as they are seeking forgiveness from him. And so although medical science can explain how such viruses spread, it cannot explain why they originate in the first place. Like why did it have to happen at this particular time now? Why did it have to originate from this particular place in this particular fashion? Why has it spread? on such a large scale like it has? These are questions that science cannot give answers to. And these are the questions that we as Muslims need to contemplate over. And so to believe that these natural occurrences 
or natural disasters or the spread of diseases in our world are purely scientific and natural without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intending to cause these things to happen it is to believe in a God that doesn't interfere with his creation and so just because we can scientifically explain medically explain and observe uh, these the reasons for for these uh, you know events it doesn't mean that they occur on their own without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causing them to occur and intending to punish the people through these calamities the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked by aisha radiyallahu anha about the plague and so he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that it was a punishment that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to punish whom he wills among people but allah made it a mercy for the believers we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all kinds of diseases and we ask Allah to make it a mercy upon those who have been infected by this disease and to accept those who may have passed away from this disease as shuhada, as martyrs. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.